Zandra, for the first time, we're hearing a firsthand account of what happened that day. This employee telling me policies need to be changed before a staff member is hurt or killed. We're hiding the person's identity for protection. The employee says the March 2nd incident began after an inmate assaulted a staffer and says when guards approached that inmate, other prisoners told them you can't have him. The group trashed housing unit two, killed two other inmates and were contained to the mini yard where the employee tells me they were visibly sharpening weapons. As for repercussions, the staffer believes there aren't any. As a department, we have fallen right back into being complacent. It's, it comes directly from the top. Tonight at 10, other problems the staff member wants to see addressed and what the Department of Corrections has to say in response. Back to you.